Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to find similar cases when using Salesforce Agent Force agents. As a service rep, if I'm working on a case and then if I wanted to find similar cases for the same issue that happened in the past, then I can make use of Salesforce Agent Force action, find similar interactions. The find similar interactions agent force uh, action requires uh, two important things. One, data cloud. So we have to make uh, sure that data cloud is enabled in our Salesforce org. Once this is enabled, then we have to enable customer experience intelligence. Let's go all the steps one by one. First step is we have to enable data cloud in Salesforce. Go to Salesforce setup, go to data cloud uh, setup homepage and then enable data cloud. Kindly wait for the data cloud feature uh, to be fully enabled. Do not just enable and go to the next step. The first step is we have to make sure data cloud is enabled. Once it is completely enabled, next we have to set up customer experience intelligence feature. In order to set up this, we need scoring framework permission set. It is an additional uh, uh, SKU from Salesforce. So we, we have to check with our Salesforce account executive to make it available in your Salesforce org. Make sure you have this permission set assigned to yourself. Once this is done, then in Salesforce setup, you should be able to see customer experience intelligence. This particular feature will be available in the setup only for the users who have scoring framework admin permission set assigned. So make sure this permission set is assigned and then you have to toggle this uh, customer experience intelligence. When you enable customer experience intelligence feature, make sure case object is in, uh, selected or enabled in the standard channels selection. So when you select uh, um, uh, or when you set up this feature, you have to select the standard channels in that make sure cases selected. Once this is done, activate it. This uh, requires uh, uh, patience because uh, once this is uh, activated, we will receive an email whether the activation is successful or unsuccessful. Once it is successful, it will give you a set of instructions via email. So make sure you follow the email and do that. We have to complete this step, you, we, we will get this information uh, via email. So let's uh, so make sure, so since I'm making use of uh, uh, case uh, ch standard channel, I will get case transform. Make sure you run it or click schedule button and then you should be able to schedule it. The next step is uh, we have to set up the agent uh, actions. In order to set up the agent action, you have to go to this uh, Salesforce help article and then you have to complete the steps uh, shared here. We have to make use of uh, these steps whenever we are using draft case response and find a similar interactions uh, agent actions. So we have to go to search index tab and then uh, we have to create a search index. We have to select uh, engagement analysis, uh, analysis text. We have to click manage fields. We have to select engagement analysis payload and you have to complete all these uh, uh, steps. Let me show that. So we have to go to search index. So this is the one we have to complete uh, uh, this step and then it will automatically create this. Okay, so once this is also done, we have to open the agent force agent and then we have to add the standard customer experience intelligence topic. So go to the agent force agent. I'm using the standard agent force default agents, which comes out of the box when we enable agent force agent in our Salesforce org. And then I added this standard customer experience intelligence. When we add it, it will automatically add the 
related agent actions. So this is the standard age, uh, topic and it automatically added find a similar interactions and identify record by name actions. So these two are added. Let's test it out. As a service rep, this is a new case which is related to reject order. I wanted to find out the past cases which are related to reject order issue. So I will open agent force and then I'm asking find similar cases for reject order issue because I have a case which is related to reject order. So I wanted to find the past cases. So if I ask this, then I should, okay, I'm looking for cases, not email, chat or voice. Now it will pick this topic. It will pick this uh, find similar interactions uh, standard action and then it should fetch the um, related cases and then I should be able to see it. So for example, this is a closed case which is related to reject order. Similarly, I can see some past cases. So what I can do is as a service rep, I can look at those uh, past uh, cases which are related to the same issue and then I should be able to get some resolution to the current newly created case. Please check, check the video description. In the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get all the steps which were discussed in this video to set up find a similar cases use case in Salesforce agent force agent. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.